Hello and welcome. So with the release of the new Rain Slayer dungeon came the release of the new level 90 crossbow. Unfortunately, the bow is only available in a primary hand, but can be converted to an offhand with a small fee of 100 ascension shards. It could also be done the opposite way from an offhand to a main hand through the same method, so don't be afraid to change it to an offhand because you can change it back. So a thing to note is that since this is a dual wielding crossbow, for it to be better than a two-handed crossbow like say a royal crossbow, you need both the main hand and offhand. So that array makes it pretty expensive to use, but currently when this video was made, there's currently a bug with dual wielding for range. I'll talk about this more later in the video, but first I'm going to go over what the weapon actually does. So oddly, there isn't really much to say except that compared to a royal crossbow, the essential crossbow hits 6 to 10% higher. I can't say exactly how much higher because of the last update when they fixed dual wielding, they also changed how critical strike works, how it deals anywhere from 95 to 105% instead of just 100%. So there's a small difference there. So in terms of damage, it only hits 5 to 10% higher than the Royal Crossbow, but in terms of price, the Royal Crossbow is only a mil, whereas the Ascension Crossbow is a couple hundred mil. So that's already a really pricey difference. Not to mention that the Royal Crossbow has a much stronger auto attack because the Royal Crossbow is a slow two-handed weapon, whereas the Ascension Crossbow is a fast single-handed weapon. So a huge difference in auto attack damage right there. And auto attacks usually happen when you target a monster, and then right after that you just start using abilities. So with monsters where you change target quite often, like say mechs, that you can kill quickly in a team, the Royal Crossbow is better because of the much stronger auto attack. For the Ascension Crossbow to be better, you need to be fighting a monster with high defense so that the accuracy difference can pay off, as well as something that you're constantly attacking so that the damage difference with abilities will show. So my opinion right now is that the Ascension Crossbow is totally not worth it. Yes, the damage is a tad higher than the Royal Crossbow, but the small difference in damage for the high difference in price is not worth it. There are people who just want the best of their best. If you can't afford it, sure, go ahead. It's, that's really up to you. But for players who have a budget, the Royal Crossbow is way more cost effective. If there were bosses where range was more important, then maybe. But with the selection of bosses available right now, it isn't worth the high difference in price. So the dual wielding bug I mentioned earlier about this, a while ago they fixed dual wielding because the damage from the offhand weapons were not contributing to the damage for many basic and threshold abilities. But when they fixed this, they focused specifically on fixing melee weapons, not exactly fixing range weapons. So you can test this yourself, but from what I can tell, basically when using dual wielding ranged weapons, it first checks if you're using an offhand or not. If you do not have an offhand, it checks your primary weapon and ammunition and then calculates the damage. If you do have an offhand, it merely checks if you're wearing an offhand or not. It doesn't check what type of offhand you have, nor does it check if your offhand can actually use the ammunition that you're using. So because of this, you don't actually need an offhand ascension crossbow, you just need a primary hand. And for your offhand, just use a bronze crossbow and you'll do the exact same damage until they fix this. This is of course talking about abilities, not auto attacks, so if you want to test this, I suggest using something affordable like dual wielding ring crossbow and an offhand bronze crossbow using the same ammunition for both. So I found that really weird, but for the ascension crossbow, if you can't afford it and want the best or the best, sure, go for it if you can't afford it. But for budget players, nah, it's not that great. But do try out that offhand bronze crossbow thing, I found the results really amazing. So as always, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.